So it's not that. It's a combination of and a wink and a cringe. So a quinge. You can't say whinge and you can't say crink because it's still a combination of both of those as well. A whinge being a childish complaint. A crink being some kind of maladjustment in the spine. A slight injury. A broken or dislocated knuckle, for instance. A beginner fucking themselves up attempting some intermediate yoga. So, the other day, I went for an afternoon walk through the little town where I live. As far as little towns go, mine is extremely cute. It is the equivalent of a box of a litter of puppies being shared with a litter of kittens. It would just make... It, would, it wouldn't just make a 25-year-old woman's ovaries hurt. A giant toddler would squeeze this place to a ball of bloody feathers and crushed bones in less than seconds. The biggest eyes on the Disneyest bunny rabbit to ever be drawn have gotten nothing on how cute this town is. Following, I will attempt to describe a cute situation I got myself into recently. I went for an afternoon walk, where I live, the short way past a small waterfall not 100 meters from the edge of town. I walked past the waterhole and then past the neighboring sewage treatment works which services the village. This may seem less cute at first whiff, but let me just say that all these puppies and kittens will require toilet training, which is a process caretakers are only willing to actually help any creature through as a result of their inherent cuteness. On and around and up to a pathway which snakes through the middle section of this joyous little bundle of suburbia. The town is latticed here and there with these little walking paths that make access through its winding sections of streets more efficient, interesting and safe for those out for no more than an afternoon or morning stroll. As I make my way onto and down the path, I notice there is a woman on the path in front of me. I also realize that at the speed I am walking, I will need to encounter and acknowledge this person when I eventually overtake her. Here I must add, it's always been difficult for me to make conversation with strangers. Although I grew up here, I have only recently moved back. Most of those who I grew up with here, certainly everyone I ever felt any closeness to, have long since moved away. Or, the pressures and circumstances of adult life leave us existentially too different from one another. I am a highly socially awkward person. I am diagnosed with schizophrenia. This is an inevitability of what I am. The normal circumstances wherein which people tend to socialize, I cannot do. But I am getting better at this. When I first began morning or afternoon walking, it was extremely hard to acknowledge those I might encounter. I would usually try to pretend they weren't there as I walked past them. This is an extremely irrational fear to harbor, and it is dehumanizing to oneself and others in the most basic way. All you need to do is make a short spot of eye contact, a little nod, and maybe a hello. The interaction is shared over quickly, and it brightens your own and others' days. I have been describing where I live to people who don't live here as friendly, but I have no friends. It would be nice to change this situation, but like I said, I am an awkward person. It is unpleasant for even those who like me the most to spend a few hours in me every several weeks. But anyway, so as I near this kind of tall, average build woman, I can make no serious tell on her age other than she is, like me, wearing headphones. But I have sports earbuds on, and she's got those thick, muffy, noise-canceling headcans. All I know is she's probably over 20. She begins to slow her pace as I come to overtake her, and I begin to speed up so that the process will only be smoother. I think about how it could be nice to try and walk beside her and introduce myself, but I know I'm not going to do this. One, because I'm just not going to, and two, because I've been walking quite a long way and I have a really sweaty butthole, and this is, whether noticeable or not, just not a nice thing to be sitting on a first impression from. I just prepare myself for the best way to acknowledge her as I come past. My plan involves turning, making eye contact, waving, and continuing forward. The moment of truth emerges. I do as I planned, but her reaction is the quinge, the cringe wink. It would be entirely fair to assume she was genuinely disgusted by me. Maybe that butthole sweat was too strong. Maybe I was breathing heavy smoker's lung breaths as I walked up behind her. So, it could be said that her reaction was like, instead of me just raising my hand with a little wave, I reached at her and grabbed her breast, did a nipple cripple. But I would probably have since spoken to some police, if that were the case, or been straight away slapped in the face. She seemed like she had enough self-respect to react like that. And anyway, this is a little unfair, because I wouldn't do that. But a quinge is a quinge. A non-existent emoji is bound to be impossible to interpret. Certainly considering that, or, 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 are truly daunting little pictures to feast your little ers on, in any scenario. Cut me some slack for fuck's sake. I mentioned the quinge to my support worker and he said, maybe she has a tick. This seems a little harsh. He said it though, not me. I've also heard about people who can't wink, like they can't close one eye without closing the other. So I thought, maybe she's been trying to work on her winking skills. Come to think of it though, I have no clue whatsoever what the fuck winking means. What on earth this body language is actually for. 
It seems to be a communicative domain exclusive only to creepy old men, which has never been explained to me and I don't understand in the slightest. On an intuitive level, I guess what they mean to say is, hey you, who I'm winking at. Yeah, you there. Don't mind these other idiots because they have no idea what the fuck winking means. The way a wink makes me actually feel on the inside is a quenge. An uncontrollable Tourette's type reaction, coupled with a visceral and conscious cringe. Totally unrelated aside, conscious conscious are weighty little grains of thinking thinking. All I can say, if these roles were reversed, I might have had the exact same reaction, simply out of surprise. So I say cheers to this puppy and this kitten opening their eyes at each other for the very first time. And here's the doubling down on super social awkwardness. P.S. This has been a lot of fun to think and write about and make a little film of.